Hi everyone, this is Mitch from PickDogs.com here with a video in our series of betting strategy and bankroll management videos. And this one's going to be called How to Avoid Unnecessary Losses, something that plagues just about everybody. Of course, PickDogs.com is my website. We have free picks on every single game, every single day, as well as betting strategy, premium picks, all kinds of stuff. So be sure to check out PickDogs.com. It's going to be one of those sites that you visit it for the first time, you bookmark it, and you visit it every day because there's always something new. Of course, here on our YouTube channel, free pick videos on all the games. And of course, uh, I do a live show every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to join that as well. So subscribe to our channel and check out all our other betting strategy videos that are there and are coming your way. But in any event, let's get to this betting strategy video. And I think one of the things that plagues just about everybody who bets on sports is you take a, a loss betting on a game, betting too much on a game, that you probably shouldn't have bet in the first place. And I've been victim to exactly the same thing. These Wednesday night college football games where it's these teams that we don't see enough of, where one little injury can sway an entire game. I understand we wanna have action on the game. This is what we do. We love betting on sports. It's recreational for us, but at the same time, we want to build our bankroll. So what we want to do is we want to just avoid the big losses on those games. I understand we're going to leave some opportunity on the table. We're going to see some of these games where, man, I wish I would have bet more, right? How many times have we all said that? I wish I would have bet more. Sometimes I say, I wish I didn't bet that game. And I think I probably say, that more often than I say, I wish I would have bet more when it comes to these games that I don't, I, I feel that if there was a bigger card or if the situation was different, I might not have bet this game at all. And I think there's so many of these games on the card every single week. Games like Monday Night Football, the Super Bowl, the World Series. I mean, sure, we want to have some action on the game. And I'd say, you know what? If you need to have action on the game, put a small piece of action on the game just to have some action on the game. That's what some people are in this for. They love the action. I, I like action too. But the thing is, I hate taking losses on games where I wouldn't have normally bet the game if it was a full schedule of games. And I see it happen all the time. It, on a full schedule of college football games, you'll see that one in the middle of the day and you're kind of like, well, this one's on TV and I'm going to be watching anyway. Ah, let me put a little something on it. Those games all add up. Up. And you know, if, if you don't hit a, a nice percentage of those, they all add up to losses to the bankroll. But you know, those games are going to happen. More importantly, though, the ones we really want to avoid are like those Monday night football games that we wouldn't have bet if they were on Sunday, those Thursday night football games that we wouldn't have bet if they were on a Sunday. Same thing. Just if you need to have action on it, put a small amount of action. What I like to do on those on those on those big games, like the Thursday games, the Sunday night game, the Monday night football game. World Series, if if I don't really have a, a, a strong opinion on it, what I'll generally do is I'll find a bet that pays a lot for just a small bet. And I'm not talking like a parlay, okay? Because parlays are a whole different animal and we have a whole other video on parlays. But I'm talking about a bet where you play an extended extended run line in baseball or a, or a uh, you know, an alternate line in the football game, like a team is favored by three, you bet them to win by nine and a half and you get a plus 240, plus 340 payout on it. Something like that, where you make a small bet, bang for your buck, if you lose, hey, you know what, no juice on it and it's a small amount, it's not gonna affect the bankroll, it's, it's worth it and at least you had some action on the game. But anyways, if you can avoid these games that you wouldn't have bet anyway if they were on a regular schedule of games, you know, and avoid big losses on these games, you're not going to be kicking yourself when you lose. And to tell you what, those wins that you hit on those extended line bets on those games, they're going to cover a bunch of your losses, especially if you keep the bet small or you can walk away from some of those games. Something I've been able to do over the years. No, it's not easy. I understand that. But I'll tell you what, over the long haul, it will pay off. And most of the time, you'll be, you'll be saying to yourself, instead of saying, I wish I, I wish I didn't bet that game or I wish I bet more in that game, most of the time you're going to be saying, I'm glad I didn't bet that game. This is Mitch. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out our whole new series of betting strategy videos. And of course, be sure to check out pickdogs.com. Have a great day.